Michelle Maloney is national convener of the Australian Earth Laws Alliance. She's a lawyer who's been working on climate change, sustainability, and social justice for nearly 20 years. Since 2011, she's been deeply involved with environmental rights and earth jurisprudence, or wild law. The essence of wild law is to rethink and reorganize our legal systems so that they support the whole earth community, the interconnected web of life on earth, rather than exploiting and destroying it. The Australian Earth Laws Alliance, I like to think of it as the Australian expression of this beautiful global movement of advocates who care for the earth and want to put the earth at the centre of all of our, I guess, problem solving and, and creative development of new ways into the future. So, Ayla um, is only a couple of years old and there's a number of really great people around Australia who work together um, to just to create a space for other folks who are interested in these, this, this area and this work of wild law or earth jurisprudence. So it's been, it has been one of the great privileges, I think, of my life to be at the coordinator of this really phenomenal group of people. So, yeah. What, uh, what kinds of issues do you take on? Well, it started out, um, I mean, the, the birth of Ayla was the, the first conference in Australia. It was organised by um, Dr. Peter Burden, who's now one of um, our great writers and thinkers on earth jurisprudence and other social issues. Um, but the organisation itself just, it, it's lovely how it grew because we had a conference in 2009 that brought people together who all stayed in touch for another gathering in 2010. And then by the time we organised another get together in 2011, we realised there were um, a number of academics, people involved in government, a lot of activists, uh, a lot of people right outside law and governance who wanted to continue the, the conversations. I think there's a lot of environmental laws that have done amazing things, you know, laws that protect national parks, that have created protected areas. In the industrial world, air and water pollution was really sorted out by a lot of good old fashioned command and control laws that control pollutants, etc. Um, but the argument within earth jurisprudence is that these environmental laws are all embedded within a post-growth system and a human-centred system. And all environmental law is being able to do is being tacked on around the edges of a pro-growth or out-of-control industrial economy. So I, I believe that many environmental laws and all the environmental lawyers supporting them are fantastic. What's happened though is you've got a culture that continues to believe uh, that humans can just absorb uh, can, can, can use up the earth in whatever way it wants. And neoclassic economics tells us that there's no such thing as scarce resources. You know, that everything uh, can be uh, uh, replaced or, or um, that everything is possible, that there are no limits. So the problem with our environmental law system is that it is part of a broader system that's got the wrong world view about our earth. And all, uh, what I find, I guess, the easiest thing about Earth jurisprudence and what all indigenous cultures know is that if you put it around the other way and look at the Earth first, understand what, what she needs and live within those limits, then everybody, the Earth, the Earth beings, the humans, um, everyone fits together. But if you take that human project and that's what's happened, the industrial economy has just blasted us out of the scale, then you've got a problem. So back to your question, Many great environmental laws have been written by great environmental lawyers, but they're trapped within a culture that doesn't want to implement them. And I don't just mean the standard environmental law response of, well, the laws are good, but we didn't enforce them properly. I mean, we have an entire culture that won't accept limits that, you know, if you're weighing the balance and, and sustainable development or ecologically sustainable development, it was all about weighing economics and social and environmental, and that's wrong. There's no weighing up to be done. You care for the earth first and you fit within it. So I think there's, there's a feedback system between the, the, the worst this crisis is getting. And we are an in, there, there's no doubt about it, we're in a time of crisis. It's not going to happen, it's happening. But I, I think the positive stuff's already bubbling along and, and movements like this are exciting because it brings together folk who've already been working on all these different things already. And the more we join together, that's the really cool stuff. When all the little dots start becoming you know, these big beautiful pictures. So yeah, dot to dot. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Maloney, national convener of the Australian Earth Laws Alliance and co-author of the book Wild Law in Practice. This interview is part of the Green Interviews Green Rights Documentary Project. If you enjoyed this interview, you may also enjoy our interviews about environmental rights with Pablo Fallardo of Ecuador, Mumta Ito of the United Kingdom, and David Suzuki of Canada. For the Green Interview, I'm Silver Donald Cameron. Thanks for joining us.